In the scripture, Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. The Lord calls us to his table. So this is what this is. It's the Lord's table. It's not our table, not a Presbyterian table or Ivanhoe's table. It's the Lord's table. He brings all of his children together to sit around in his house. And so all of God's children are welcome here. Let us pray. Lord, we gather today around your table, brought together as a family in you. As we partake of communion, we know that we are lifted into your presence. There we join not just us in this room, but our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world and those who have gone on ahead who stand around your throne and praise you night and day. Standing in that great crowd that surrounds your throne, we ask that you would pour into our hearts your peace and your joy. Strengthen us at this table that we might follow you, hear your call and say, here I am, Lord, send me. We lift up before you, Lord, all the folks who are on our prayer list, those we've mentioned, others on our hearts that we maybe haven't named. We also lift up ourselves. We ask, Lord, that you would reach down and touch each life and bring the miracles that are needed to each life as only you can. You would bring healing, peace, and joy, protection, providence, guidance, direction, each as they are needed. Touch each heart, each life. Know of your presence. Lord, as we gather around this table, indeed lift us into your presence by the power of your spirit, that we might know your presence in our lives, we might hear your voice speak to us. We might know your grace and your peace and your mercy. Lord, we might gain strength from you to do as we are called to do in this world. We ask, Lord, that you would bring your healing to touch our lives, our hearts, our bodies, our families community in our world. Help us to work in your name in this world to bring about the goodness that you call us to. And all these things we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. On the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus gathered in the upper room with his disciples. And after supper, he took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he said, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In like manner, after supper, he took the cup, and he blessed it, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you drink of it, you do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he comes again. As believers in all ages and places, we say, Come, Lord Jesus. tells us by the stripes the Messiah would bear upon his back, our healing would be. And so, Lord, we pray that by the healing, by the stripes that Christ bore upon his back upon the cross, that you would heal us body, soul, and spirit, as individuals, families, and communities, as we gather around your throne. In Christ's name we pray.
blood of Christ shed for us. Lord, we know that upon the cross you shed your blood and poured out your life. Lord, we know that we are forgiven by your grace and mercy. Lord, we ask that you would touch us with that grace and mercy this day. Forgive us, cleanse us, empower us to live the life that you've called us to. Unite us together, Lord bonds of brotherhood, sisterhood together in you, as a family to love one another, and to love you, and love you by serving the world around us. And all this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not in temptation. Deliver us from evil. Unite us the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.